Welcome back to the second part of our repair of our 32-inch Telefunken TV. So I was I was doing this repair and uh, it was late. Some of uh, our employees they wanted to knock off, and I I have to stop the video. And uh, let's let's carry on with our repair. Yeah, that's a, a hard night Wednesday actually. Actually, that is the worst faults ever I've seen on a switching power supply. So, one first, we we replace the big capacitor 400 volts which has blown up. We replace these 16 volts, probably for which is outputting to to. To, to the to the audio power amplifier we replace these 10 volts outputting for the LED for, for the screen ribbon cable our switching MOSFET which is switching this transformer was also shorted this one that was our fault number four after that what we have done we we tested our TV and uh, there was an explosion. We seen that the rectifier was not working, was partially shorted, and we, we modify our rectifier bridge. After the rectifier bridge, our high voltage area was now fine, and we were now facing problem on the secondary part. There was no standby light, and we our regulator is not able to outputting five volts for the reason which i don't know because if i check for short there's no short on the on the five volts regulator so we came with another board i don't even know this board and uh, from this board we wanted i was only focusing to take the was the backlight circuit even the backlight circuit on the original board is not working but i checked everything the switching MOSFET, some diode on the output everything seems to be okay but it's not working it's not we don't have any on voltage there so i came with another board and take the ac from the ac connector and connect it to the another switching power supply and uh, this one is working we have a standby so instead of using this 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 cell phone charger to regulate five volts let's just uh, take five volts from another board so in this board we are going to use to take the five volts from this board and also voltage for the backlights that's what we are doing we only want to do now so yeah that's the cable which is connected to the standby voltage so what i'm going to do let's continue let's continue this repair well there are so many jobs which are still way which is still need to be repaired you know so let's continue with this one let's continue I'll, I'll, I'll put it straight on the regulator but the output of the 5 volts regulator ok that's fine so what I want to do let's stick this with glue Let's take these input cables. I also want to to modify to put an insulator here because we don't want bad things to happen here. We don't want bad things to happen. So we have to be careful, you know. Whatever we are going to do here must be careful. But uh, that was the worst fault ever.
I never seen such kind of fault before. Mostly, I found shorted shorted the transistor MOSFET and the what else rectifier yes I found the rectifier which was not a shorted yeah rectifier can be shorted but you look how many faults we have now so Let's try to fix it the dodge way, you know. Let's try to fix it the dodge way. Was it? If everything is working, the backlight circuit is is not working. The standby voltage is missing. Probably the regulator is partially shorted. Even the high voltage, the way the transfer, the 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 switching MOSFET was shorted. So. All the kind of faults. It was just easy to to look for another board and replace. But uh, usually, I, I don't like replacing things. You know, I don't like to replace things. not good to replace things you know as technicians we have to fix not to replace replacing is not good for this kind of switching power supply I don't think there's need to put this thing on this on this rectifier you just stick it safely and that should be okay Okay, our board seems to be intact. Our rectifier bridge seems to be also in place. So, yeah, these are the panels. Instead of uh, switching this TV with one switch to just to turn it on, we have we have modified few things i will show you after what we have done i'll show you after what i've done here was even the backlight the backlight is is now having its own switch you know
Let's do it, you know. Let's do it, let's do it. It's not hard, you know. Okay. What is left? Yeah, that's the 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 waste, the most hard repair ever, actually. So everything looks to be in place what is left is to test you know that's what is left so let's plug in the ac plugged No standby. Okay, this one is no standby. I, I know. I think I missed something. I need a wire actually, because when you took the the standby voltage from the second board, there's no communication between this ground and this ground. I don't know if you understand this, but. Uh, Hopefully, you understand this. So, I need to fix the ground thing. You need to fix the ground thing, you know. That's what we have to do in order to have standby on the on the main board. Was we just took five volts, connected we just connect to five volts wire, but there's no minus there. So let's 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 fix the, the minus thing. Yes. Minus on the other side. This wire is too long. Actually, I need to cut it off. I'll cut it like this. Yeah. Usually, I don't usually modify a lot of things like this. But uh, <laughs> this time seems to be. modified almost everything here I took I took ground from this big transistor to the HDMI let's take our ground here here okay let's test again This test is now time for testing. You no, know? look how the wires they are. <laughs> I 
we now have a standby light let me put this down we now have standby light on the main board and on this board which is uh, meant to turn on the back lights you can see we have this standby light and our second standby light so let's let's turn on our tv this one is now on let's turn the other one for big lights on what is missing all right all right all right i know i know it's, it's my mistake let's power it off you know the screen cap was not connected let's power it off let's connect the screen cable yeah that's my fault that's what happened when you uh, are over when we have overworked you know you get all exhausted again on the main tv is on on another one for backlights Why this one is taking too long to 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 press? On you can see no signal volume twenty four volume up twenty five hundred input menu so the our tv is fixed you you see all what we've done here let me power off the tv our tv is now off nothing is getting hot so I'll test one more time and I'll stop this video because we have to move on to the next job. One more time. Main switch on for the brake lights on. Telephone again, you can see. So this job is done. No signal. So yeah sometimes you don't need to give up like subscribe and follow our youtube channel bst african electronic surgery see you on the next one obviously i'll put all screws together bye